If I may, there is an alternate path inside the tomb. It is likely full of traps, guardians, and prodigious quantities of dust. <laughs> A small price to avoid the iron wheel. Head to the tomb entrance. Keep watch to the side of the path, the right side. You should notice an old trail leading to a sealed entrance. Simply clear the way, and I shall join you to open the door. Oh my, no. <laughs> the things inside would most certainly kill me. I do know the trick to the door's hidden latch. The rest, I'm certain you can handle yourself. The last time I was here, the Iron Wheel wasn't camped in front of the tomb. Perfect. Scout ahead and find us a way inside. Clear the way if you care to. The Iron Wheel can't exactly call for reinforcements. You could also sneak past them. We'll track your progress and follow in your footsteps. That's why we brought Perseus Loke. He said something about a side entrance. Speak with him before you go. One moment, and I'll have it open. I hope. Zira. She knows how to do everything in this place, unless it's stealing a dowry. No idea. 
Last time, Nicholas had me watch the passage behind us. There must be something in his journal. Anything useful? Nicholas loved his puzzles. You're welcome to try. You're the one who discovered Vice Reeve Peladil's involvement with the Veiled Heritance. The journal says this chasm is called Shinji's Truth. Last time, we never made it across. I can't see the bottom. Is there a bottom? Throw yourself in. We'll see how long before we hear the splat. Quen, walk softly. Look for hidden doors or switches. Belsa, you're with me. I need your help to walk Maluk's path. And what of your protege? Watching my back, should anyone try to stab it. Let's go. Forgive me, my old friends. What did you say? Nothing. Velsa, do you see that panel? Put your hand on it until I say otherwise. For what reason? When I set foot on Maluk's path, an aura of light will surround me. The darkness cannot harm us as long as you touch the panel. So, what can harm you? We could fall to our deaths, or the creatures within could devour us. Well then, enjoy yourselves. Velsa knows what to do, but we should speak before we cross. On the other side of Maluk's path is Tall Papa's Ewer, a very fancy name for a big vase. According to the journal, we'll need sacred ashes from inside the vase to reach the treasure vaults. So, this is it. We should... We should get going. This is where they died. Edda, Dalder, and Nicholas. Swallowed by the darkness. I'm sorry, I can't talk about this. No use reliving the past, or regretting it. That's fair. Talking about it might calm my nerves. The darkness is unnatural. Breathe it in and it sickens you. To make things worse, the Guardians on the path attack anyone not of Denobia's bloodline. And then there's the path itself. 
It twists and turns. You don't know where you're going until you're out there. You'll see what I mean. Keep your wits about you. Stay with me inside the light and we'll make it through. I won't let anyone else die in here. Here we go. Don't wander, or the darkness itself will flay you alive. Keep holding the panel. Nicholas. I could hear their screams as I held the switch. I had to do something. I, I couldn't... This is a dead end. Let's turn back. There must be another way we missed. There's no end to the darkness. Zero. My arm's getting tired. Don't you dare release that panel! Antagonize it. That must be the vase. Sorry. Tall Papa's you. Wait. That lamp belonged to Nicholas. I watched it go out. I heard him die. Falora must have come here to investigate. She could have picked it up and brought it here. Nicholas couldn't have survived. That lamp definitely belonged to Nicholas. I procured it for him. I saw him drop the lamp. It hit the path and went out. And all I remember is darkness and pain. I... I... Just grab the ashes so we can leave. I don't want to spend any more time in this place. Bring the ashes. We should return to Quen and walk softly. Elsa, you can let go of the panel. I know what you did. What? I know how they died. 
How you killed them. That's low, Velsa. Even for you. Always had to be the hero. Be the Guildmaster's darling. You're cracked. I didn't need anyone's approval. You held the panel. From here you saw the creatures closing in. You thought you could save them. Only you! So you released the panel. Grabbed your weapon. Rushed out to meet them. I could have saved them. Because in your head, you are the hero. But the light faded. The darkness rushed in and ate them alive. I tried to reach them. And the darkness tried to eat you alive. So you had to recover from your wounds. That's why you didn't return to Abba's landing. At least not soon enough. I crawled from the tomb. The darkness. You can't imagine the pain. You were the only one who could have warned the guild. Who could tell them the Iron Wheel was coming. Velsa, stop. Zira, you were never the hero. You were always a thief. Now, you're just a shadow.